All right, one is up, Aquarius. Let me go ahead and do this angel message. So we're going to go to 41 and 42. For those who do not know me, my name is Spiritual Star 111. Hope that you are having a great day. Whoever birthday is today, happy, happy, happy birthday. I put on the community wall. So if your birthday is today and you're not a subscriber or whatever, just go, you know, so we can say birthday to you. No shade. Um, only take what resonates in this message. It should resonate with everybody. It's an inspiring angel number message. You may see these angel numbers and you may be wondering why I keep seeing, seeing you know, double digits and stuff like that. Because a lot of times we think that the angel numbers are in threes, fours, or fives. But no, they can be in twos too, okay? So, our angel Michael, I ask that you use me in the highest white light as I give a clear and community of understanding message to Aquarius or whoever just needs to hear this. I ask that you bring forth whoever needs to hear this, and I ask that you block out whoever does not need to hear this. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestors, Spirit Guides, and most importantly, the universe. Everything you need to know about me is in the description box. I am in such, 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 such a great mood. My birthday is tomorrow, and I am just so excited, y'all. So excited. Um... I'm just glad on the journey that I have came or overcame or are becoming, you know, sometimes when you do everything by yourself and you just, which I will incorporate in the message that I'm getting ready to do after this. So let me just, okay. So 41, your angels are encouraging you to embrace your gifts and know that you are worthy of having them. And 42, angels are lovingly guiding you to express your emotions, align yourself with truth and integrity, period. If you don't have truth in yourself, what are you? Who are you? You have to be truthful to yourself, right? You really have to be truthful to yourself because if you, I mean, you go through life and people be lying to you and stuff like that. So you got to find that truth into yourself. You really have to. You really have to. So that is most definitely aligning yourself. Use your gifts how you need to use your gifts. Not to use your gifts to try to get over on somebody. Not to use your gifts to copy somebody. Use your gifts and embrace your gifts that the angels have gave you these gifts, right? So that way you can, you know, be that beautiful person inside out. So that's definitely finding truth in yourself because whatever gift that you have, you want to use it to your highest good, okay? You don't want to sit here and use it for just to try to, you know, because just like spirit give it to us, he could take it away too, right? So angel of wisdom, period. This is the whole gift thing that I was talking about. Use your gifts to your, your better good, to your good advantage, okay? Then you have angel of soulmates, okay? You got to find truth within yourself and be truthful and honest with yourself because if you don't be truthful and honest with yourself, who are you going to be truthful to? Angel of grounding, period, with angel of gratitude at the end. You have to ground yourself. That's that's kind of like getting out there in earth, like grounding yourself on earth, you know, touching your feet with the bare soul or just going out into nature, earth. I keep saying earth, like we had a whole, like we in uh, Mars or something with um, nature, okay? Because when you find truth and honesty within yourself and you just have that certain type of glow and you're proud of yourself, that's when your soulmate would come and your soulmate would be like, man, when I met this person, they had so much truth and honesty within their self. Why can't, why, why wouldn't I want to be with that person? Right. And then angel of wisdom is going within, you know, finding out your gift, figuring out what type of gift you have, you know, embracing your gift, thanking your angels for your gift and being proud that your angels actually shown you enlightenment to actually use your gift. Using your gifts is so, so, let me tell you, a lot of us be sleep or we was sleep. We was, <laughs> you know, a lot of us was sleep. And then when we woke up and we was like, man, I can do this. I'm intuitive. What? I can smell these smells. I can do whatever your gift is. Is It's exciting because people feel like just because you have a gift that you're going to put a spell on them and stuff like that. It's different types of gifts. It's, it's different types of levels, different types of sections. It's getting ready to storm here. And I'm just like, okay, it's rainy today and then tomorrow is sunny. But even if it was rainy tomorrow, I would be fine. But that lets me further know that spirit is remaining to continue to bless us. You know, blessings on rain blessings or whatever that you got going on in your life. Spirit is going to continue to bless you as long as you align yourself how it needs to be aligned. And as long as you continue finding truth within yourself, because we have to learn ourselves, right? 
We have to learn ourselves. How are you going to sit here and tell somebody about you if you don't even know you? Why do you think they have ancestral, like finding out your ancestral, um, you know, what you all have in your system or whatever the case may be? Why do you think they have that? Because that way you can know who you are. Somebody can be like, what are you mixed with? I don't know. What tribe do you come from? I don't know. Where was you born? I don't know. So you have to find that type of truth within yourself. So period. <laughs> and then especially with the angel of gratitude, abundance, you know, um, purpose, mindfulness, compassion, wisdom, and peace. Okay. I would love to continue to find truth within myself as I grow every day. So that way, when my divine counterpart come in, they're not only, I can show them that type of passion to them and be truthful and honest with them. Why? Because I'm truthful to myself. We're going to pull some black um history cards because I think I skipped like three days. I am so sorry, black history. It, was, it wasn't nothing like that. So we're just going to pull, I'm going to pull four so it can be an even number. Let's see who comes out. One, two, three, four. All right. So we got Jackie Robinson. He was a famous baseball player. Jackie Robinson, okay? Then we have Bessie Coleman. Bessie Coleman, um, I could put you on a flight. She was a first American, African-American woman to have a pilot license. So you could do whatever you want to be. What's that movie? Hidden Figures? I don't know if you've ever seen Hidden Figures. And it has Taraji P. Henson in it. It has a lady that played from The Help in it. That movie is so good. You can do whatever you want to do. Find that truth within yourself. To do whatever you need to do that a man can do. Mm -hmm. We have Robert Johnson. He was a songwriter. Guitar skills. Master blues. You know, our ancestors, they like that blues music. They like that hole in the wall type of feeling. Like you go and you see the hole in the wall. It ain't all that job rating and stuff and all that extra. You just chilling, listening to the, you know, that jazz and the blues. Then you had Mae, you had Mae Jemison. She was a space queen. She was the first African-American woman that was in space. So yeah, that's why when you see all these people, I would never sit here and tell my children they can't do something. My daughter want to be a truck driver, be a truck driver. My daughter want to play basketball, play basketball. You is nothing that your kids, a woman can't do that a man can do, or nothing that a man can't do that um that a woman does. Correct. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so this is the angel message, y'all. Align yourself is and you know embrace your gifts, find truth within yourself before you can find truth within somebody else. Because once you have that type of truth and that knowledge and that wisdom, then can't nothing or nobody come and shout at your parade, all right? So until we meet again, continue us on peace, love, and light. Continue us on staying healthy. Continue us on staying safe. Continue us on staying blessed. Continue us on just staying positive, all right? All right, so I'm getting ready to do one more message, and then I'm gonna get a off you. Um, I hope that you have a great, 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 great day. And um, I'm gonna say, y'all,